Hi everyone, my name is Ina Arenas and I am here to talk about Microsoft Graph. Microsoft Graph is a free-to-use REST API that you can access through graph.microsoft.com. It gives you access to information across services from Office 365, Windows 10, Enterprise Mobility and Security, and even Dynamics. And it supports users across organizational accounts or worker school accounts, and as well as consumer accounts. It has one endpoint that you can use, one access token, and a set of tools that enable you as a developer to integrate into your applications. For example, one set of developer uh, documentation, one SDK, and even a toolkit that we're announcing this year that enables you to get components into your uh, user experience. As I mentioned before, Microsoft Graph provides data across many different services. It is the core schema for the data entities across Microsoft 365. So if you have customers that have services in Microsoft 365, whether it is Office 365, Windows 10, or the security suite, your customers have data in the Microsoft Graph that you can integrate into your applications. All of these different set of schemas are easy to use and are offered exposed through an API that basically returns very simple JSON to you so that you can interact with this data. Now, Microsoft Graph is a key component for the Microsoft 365 platform. We build our own experiences on top of the Microsoft Graph. Things like workplace analytics or the Windows timeline or even the Office Administrator portal are powered by the Microsoft Graph. And you can build your own applications and integrate into your experiences all of the data that comes from the API. Furthermore, you can integrate into experiences that we build, whether it is the Windows timeline or documents through the Office add-in model on Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, uh, or in conversations like Teams. Now, if you think about like the set of applications that you can build with Microsoft Graph, there are four types that we've heard most of from the customers about. The first one is about portal applications. These are web-based applications that aggregate information about uh, contextually for a user. In this category, we also see a lot of mobile applications as well. They, the key point of this category is that it is a user that is uh, always interacting on a transactional basis with the application. The second type of, of application that we've seen is the automation or business processes apps. These are background service daemon applications that interact with the data in a large bulk processing. processing. The third one is around bots or dialogue applications. This one is where a bot or an agent is integrating with the application and interacting with the user. We see this a lot of integrations with Microsoft Teams. And finally, analytical apps. In this type of applications, you will be generating insights based on bulk processing of the data that is available in Microsoft 365. We offer core capabilities like Microsoft Graph Data Connect that enables you to establish a connection, a secure connection between Office 365 and Azure Data Lake. That way you can export that data in bulk and then do processing of the data using Azure tooling. These uh, capabilities enable you to generate insights out of all of the data that is available through the Microsoft Graph. Now let's take a look at how you get started developing with the Microsoft Graph. The first thing that I'm going to point you to is our documentation portal. So if you type in your browser graph.microsoft.com, you will be redirected to a, our documentation portal. Here, you'll find all of the tools and capabilities that will enable you to get started with the Microsoft Graph. The first thing that I'm going to point you to is our Graph Explorer. Graph Explorer is a web application that enables you to make web requests to the API. You will be able to see the requests and then see the, request, the response payload. Here, I'm going to show you that Microsoft Graph supports two versions. The version 1, which is ready for production use, and the beta version that is um, basically for, for the preview set of APIs that are exposed and at some point in time will graduate to the V1 version. Now I'm going to make a request to the me endpoint. Me endpoint is basically a, a shortened token for slash user slash ID for the user that's currently logged in. Here I'm using my alter ego, Megan Bowen. So I'm going to run the query and you'll see that I get a response back with simple JSON format of what was um, part of the profile of Megan. Now, request a question that I usually get is that if there is less data exposed on one version or the other. With respect to a single entity, actually the data is the same. But if I go and make the query to beta, this exact same query, you're going to notice that I get much more information. 
Why is that? Well, the reason is because in the, in the production version, we optimize for bits over the wire. So we don't necessarily send all of the information back that is available. And the best practice is for you to use select parameters uh, in order to get that data. So if I type select, and then, for example, postal code, I'm going to get that information back from the API. Now, this is not part of the default payload if I don't have this uh, selection parameter in. The reason why is because, again, we want you to optimize and select only the, the properties that uh, are part of what you're going to use. Now, another thing that I'm going to show you is that here in Graph Explorer, we have a different set of samples for each of the services that are participating on the API. So for example, you see the users, groups, Outlook Mail, Calendar, OneDrive, and all of the different set of services. And you can turn on and off these capabilities in order to get more uh, examples for each of the particular services. For example, if we go to OneDrive, we'll be able to see all of the different set of requests for the OneDrive endpoint. I can get query all of the different files on this particular user's OneDrive. Graph Explorer is a very uh, interesting tool that will allow you to interact with the API and get um, access to all of the different set of queries. So oftentimes, you also want to use your own application to interact with uh, the data in the API and in order to do your own testing and development. So for that, we also have created a Postman collection that is available in our GitHub repository that you can download into Postman itself. Here we provide you with all of the instructions that um, you need in order to get this running into Postman. Now, another thing that I'll point you to is our API reference. Here you will find full documentation of all of the different APIs uh, for both create and, and update and, and delete and all of the different set of operations that we support for each of the APIs. So for example, if I navigate here at the user, we will see all of the different methods that are supported, all of the different set of parameters. And for each of the operations, we'll see what are the set of permissions that are required to interact with each of the APIs. After you've explored our documentation, I'll point you to our getting started experiences. We have a full set of getting started experiences in different set of languages. So for example, if you're an ASP.NET developer, you can come here to ASP.NET, and we offer a variety of uh, experiences for you. First one is, a quick start that in less than three minutes, you're going to be able to get an app up and running. The next one is a, a full training that in about 30 minutes, you're going to be able to get an application and walk through step by step. We also have videos that will support your journey. And finally, we have SDKs that are available for you to build your applications. Now I want to show you the last bit of information, which is joining our developer program. Our developer program will offer you an Office 365 tenancy that you can use for your development with 25 users along with data uh, from them. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, just type in your browser graph.microsoft.com and you'll be able to get access to all of the information about Microsoft Graph and what it has to offer for you as a developer. We have a REST API that enables you access to all of the information across Microsoft 365 services, across Office, Windows, and Enterprise Mobility Suite. We have a set of tooling available for you in terms of SDKs available in different languages. And we have a whole bunch of documentation, Explorer, Postman collections, trainings, lots of content so you can be success successful in your development of your applications. Thank you for joining me today and ha have a happy Microsoft Build 2019.